Hi Libra, welcome to your April 2020 love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and yes, of course, Venus. I know a lot of you like to watch for your Venus sign. If you're not sure what your Venus is, hang around for the end. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But we're going to see what's happening for our lovely Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love and romance. For April 2020. I feel like it needs one more shuffle here. There we are. One, two, three, four, five. Libra at the foundation here, we have nine of pentacles. So um, this is kind of fitting, fitting, fitting card, fitting energy. Um, because nine of pentacles can sometimes be watching somebody from afar. And <laughs> there's a lot of that going on right now. Um, nine of pentacles is sometimes going to be like, you know, admiring somebody from a distance. And uh, we're all kind of social distancing right now. So that would definitely play in. Uh, however, however, um, this can also do with a certain degree of independence and getting anxiety under control. So for some of you, maybe this has been an issue in your love life where You've had a really hard time feeling comfortable in a relationship or feeling like you belong in a relationship or with a specific person. And so there might be some internal work that's happening for you in April where you're kind of focusing on goals and things that are bringing you in uh, more comfort with your finances or you're looking at financial goals and working towards things and having more faith and having more confidence in yourself, which is also causing you to get more attention, causing you to be noticed not because you're doing well financially i mean you're, you're you're moving towards doing well financially and that's just kind of you know that that's nice but the attention is coming because you're seeming more confident uh more comfortable in your own skin more focused uh your energy you're, you're giving off a very vibrant energy in april or at least you're starting off the month with that way and with that energy um and you, some of you may have a secret admirer. Some of you may have somebody watching you from a distance and trying to figure out how best to approach you. Uh, some of you are currently speaking with someone and the roles can be reversed. Maybe you're, maybe you're the one watching the person and trying to figure it out. But I think for a lot of you, this person maybe isn't being very quick to express their interest or you're like, you're kind of like, oh, is this person into me as a friend? Do they like me more than a friend? You may be having a hard time figuring this out. Um, and so with the nine of coins, it's or nine of pentacles, it's telling us that this person is just trying to make sure you are who you seem you are. Somebody might be looking at you thinking you seem awfully just too good to be true, right? Or Libra, you may be looking at somebody that way. Like, I just think this person is too good to be true. Who are they when I'm not looking, right? Like the Blake Shelton song, <laughs> you know, who who is this person when I'm not looking? So there's like a certain degree or level of surveillance there. Not like in a creepy kind of way or not like in a spying kind of way, but just trying to figure somebody out. I think somebody's trying to figure you out or you may be trying to figure somebody out. If you're in a relationship, um, you're going to be spending some time outside of the relationship, kind of focusing on your goals, your interests, and and this is going to help bring the two of you closer together. Um, I know right now, especially since a lot of us are in close quarters, maybe you know, maybe the only distance you can get is to go be busy with something for a little bit. So you might be using this time to uh, invest into ideas or to pick up new skill sets that you think might be useful, like uh, learning a new language or taking workshops or, you know, picking up, you know, talents or, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, your next card here, Libra, is Four of Swords. So you are definitely needing distance and you're definitely needing time. Uh, Four of Swords isn't necessarily a breakup card, but it can be taking a time out. It can be taking some time away from a person or situation. Four of Swords for me typically would indicate somebody is mentally and emotionally exhausted. And one thing I can tell you about Libras, I, I, I do adore you Libras. You guys are really, really good about 
looking at a situation from all angles before you make a decision. Some people, like I'm a water sign, I'm a Scorpio, and you know, us water signs, it's very easy for us if we're not careful to make a permanent decision based off of a, a temporary feeling. But Libra, you guys are very balanced. You guys know, wait a minute, hold on. Let me take a moment. Let me step away. Let me really think about the situation. Let me look at it from all angles before I decide what's going to be the best decision for me to make. Okay. Um, I feel some of you are preparing to walk away from a very, very, very long-term relationship uh, because someone has caught your eye. I don't necessarily feel like you're involved with this person just yet. Uh, you might have just kind of noticed them and that might be why there's that angle of like watching from afar and uh, just trying to make sure, you know, that this is what you want to do. But you're also thinking, am I really happy in this relationship? You know, even if I don't end up with this other person, do I really want out of this relationship? So you might be taking some time to really kind of rest and make sure that you're not making a, a decision off of your emotions or feelings, but that you're looking at this logically. You know, when I see Four of Swords, somebody is mentally and emotionally exhausted. You've been through the ringer and you're just needing some time to recuperate. This is where it might be tricky for some of you, depending on your beliefs. Uh, Four of Swords is asking you to make your spiritual connection, like through meditation and prayer. And not everybody feels like they can do that. So if you're somebody who struggles with meditation, or if you're somebody who struggles with prayer, then all I can really tell you is try to take that time uh, to, to connect with your Zen, to whatever brings you Zen, okay? If it's music, if it's uh, reading, if it's being with animals, if it's uh, inventing things, tinkering with things, woodworking, gardening, uh, you know, and it could be more than one thing, but try to connect with your Zen, okay? Just something that gives you a sense of peace and love and tranquility, whatever that might be for you. Four of Swords is asking you to try to find that center. Okay, and a lot of you are going to find that the decisions are going to come to you very quickly in this way. So some of you may be taking a temporary break from a person because you just feel like, whoa, this person's way too much for me to handle. This person's just way too much for me to take on right now. And you're on the fence about whether or not you want to call it permanent quits or not. So some of you Libras are, are facing that situation or decision. Those of you that you're in a relationship and you don't think it's quite that bad just yet, um, you know, you just might be wanting to distance yourself. Like I said, find some independence, find some things to focus on. Uh, but I feel some of you are really, really like at a end of the road moment here where you're just really trying to figure out what you want to do long term. Your next card here is four of coins or four of pentacles. So there may be concerns here around finances, right? Uh, nine of pentacles or nine of coins happens to be a card that can, in business, be someone who has found financial independence. And so maybe some of you, this is important for you to be able to feel secure in your relationship. Maybe you're wanting financial independence or maybe you're concerned that if you leave this relationship how it's going to affect you financially either because you're not sure how you're going to support yourself or maybe it's the other way around you're concerned or worried about what you're going to end up having to pay out if you if if you decide not to be in the relationship you might be looking at it oh this is going to be very costly you know, especially if there's things having to do with, you know, dividing assets and businesses and divorce, like that can, that, that can cause somebody to take kind of a financial hit. So some of you are trying to make decisions based on what's gonna be easiest for you financially, or how you're going to feel the most secure financially. Four of Pentacles can also be claiming your space, needing physical space. So you might not, Libra, you might not be in the mood to be all lovey-dovey or be all, you know, like physical. You may need some space, right? Or if you're dating, you might be like, hey, right now it's not a good time to get all up close and personal with somebody. You may be dating from a distance. You may be trying to implicate those uh, social distancing, uh, you know, uh, methods while you're still kind of dating and kind of having your physical space. 
And I'm all for that, guys. Better safe than sorry. You know, but a lot of you are just in this energy of needing space. And I feel also a lot of you like, you know, maybe because right now, a lot of people are concerned about money, they're concerned about resources, you might be feeling in an existing relationship where you're wanting to send a fine where you're wanting to set a financial boundary, right? You might be feeling like you want things to be more clear, what's mine and what's yours. You know, when we go into a relationship and we're all like madly in love and, you know, in the beginning, we're just like, oh, baby, you know, everything I have is yours and and everything is just lovey-dovey and we're in it together. And then life gets real, right? And you're like, hey, I'm working my butt off or like, that's not fair. Or yeah, you know, I'm happy to share with you, but maybe you're, you know, taking these resources and you're spending them on things that maybe aren't a good thing to be spending them on. And so there may be some, some tension building around finances. So Libra, some of you are wanting to have a firmer boundary or a clearer boundary. Um, some of you are preparing for marriage and uh, you might be wanting to bring up the idea of a prenuptial agreement, but you may be kind of nervous about it, you know, but I feel like there's some desire to set financial boundaries in the relationship and also like a physical distance, physical distance. Maybe you feel like somebody's trying to buy your love or maybe you feel like somebody's trying to get you to, you know, spend money on them before they, you know, break you off some or whatever it might be. But I feel like there's some financial boundaries here that you're feeling like need to be set. That you're like, ah, I don't, I don't like this. We need to address this. Your next card here. Oh wow, this is very interesting, right? Nine of Swords. I was not. I mean, not nine. Nine of Pentacles. I was saying somebody's kind of watching you, and I was. I w I swear to you, I was gonna say it's not like Seven of Swords, and now here we have Seven of Swords. Um. So those of you that you're working on your independence. Uh, and, and you're spending time, you know, doing what you need to do to kind of break away or have more freedom. Seven of Swords can indicate that somebody might be trying to throw a wrench in those works. Like they might see that you're getting more independent or you're getting ready to make these decisions. And they may be looking for ways of just sneaking in and getting you to change your mind or to let them in. Um, Seven of Swords oftentimes is like the sneaky little X that is like keeping an eye on you through social media or however like spying on you libra maybe some of you are doing it maybe some of you are the seven of swords maybe you have like some fake you know uh instagram account or facebook account or something and maybe you're you're keeping an eye on an ex um but if you are if you are i feel you're doing it more in the way of preparing um, it would be more of a soon to be ex than, than an actual ex. And I feel it would be more than a strategy, um, more of a strategy on like how you're preparing your, your way out of a situation. Cause seven of swords can be somebody spying. It can be somebody wanting to take advantage of you, but sometimes it can be making a sneaky getaway. And a sneaky getaway is not always a bad thing, right? Sometimes we need to be sneaky because we're dealing with a difficult situation. And so I feel for some of you, Libra, you're just being very cautious where you step. You're not wanting to let on that you are as at the end of your rope as you are in terms of the relationship, right? And you're looking for strategies. You're looking for ways that are going to, you know, be as quick and as easy and painless as possible. So, um, I just feel Libra, some of you are really trying to plan an escape here from a relationship. You're wanting out and you're trying to figure out how to do it in a peaceful uh, and quick kind of way. So uh, you're setting yourself up, you know, that nine of coins or nine of pentacles, you're setting yourself up to be able to be independent, to be able to have the assets be independent. Or if you're going into a relationship, you're going into it with some kind of a backup plan right? And the seven of swords could also indicate your partner kind of senses this. And it's not that they don't want you to be independent, but they might feel like, oh, I kind of feel like maybe Libra doesn't plan on staying with me. Or, you know, maybe Libra is seeing me as an as a temporary person. So they're not going to flat out tell you that they're just going to maybe try to discourage you or convince you to give up on certain projects or certain things because, they see that that's probably going to be your safety net and they just they don't want to think about you leaving 
Uh, so you're just going to have to be cautious there with that. Maybe don't make it so obvious that you're, that you're doing it for like a safety net, but maybe more of, I really enjoy this. I'm really passionate about this. It may, it brings me happiness, you know, uh, maybe kind of try to take that angle with it. Um, yeah, I just feel you guys are like, you, you, you're doing everything that you can to avoid a situation where you're going to be in the relationship because of money. I feel like Libra, some of you are sick of it. Like some of you are just sick of the, 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 the headache that comes with money, right? So you're, you're just wanting things to be clear, like what belongs to me, what belongs to you. Um, I just feel there may be some, some pressures here financially, even if you're someone who's doing well, even if you're somebody who's not affected financially right now by what's going on in the world, you just might feel like people only want you for your finances and you might be working some little plot plot or plan on because maybe you're trying to, you're trying to test somebody. Like you're trying to see, do they really want you for you or do they, they, they want you for this money? Some of you might be cooking up some kind of a scheme because you're trying to see somebody's true colors. Your next card here is three of pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, I think this card came up for them or maybe it was in one of the weekly readings. Never mind. We're not going to go into that. Uh, but three of pentacles or three of coins is going to be a card that comes up when you are laying down a foundation with a person and you're maybe taking things slow. So if this person was watching you from afar towards the end, they're stepping up to you. If you've been watching somebody from afar towards the end of the month, you're stepping up to them, but you're taking it really slow. It's not like, you know, Hey, you know, I want to spend forever with you or even like a profession of love. You might be trying to find, or this person might be trying to find uh, a logical reason to connect with you. When I say logical reason, like they might be looking for some kind of a front, like, you know, maybe say you're, you're, I'm just throwing out a very random example. Say you're a florist, right? And they might say, oh, hey, you know, do I remember correctly? Are you a florist? Oh my goodness. Well, I have a lot of questions about it. Or I was planning on, on doing an event uh, and I just, I wanted to get like your opinion or I wanted to, you know, like, so like they might like come in a way where like they're doing business with you or they have questions about what you do for a living or they might try to find some way where they're not making it obvious that they're wanting to spend time with you or get to know you. Um, or, you know, yeah, so they, they might find like a subtle way of connecting with you because that whole element is still there because the thing with three of pentacles is when it comes up in a relationship, you might feel like you guys have a lot in common. There's a lot of common ground, but you're taking it slow to see if, you know, you're going to be able to build something solid. So this person's really kind of analyzing you uh, on a personality level, intellect level, maturity level. Um, so they're, they're going to get to know you in ways where they're really getting to know you, like analyzing you. It's not just going to be like lovey dovey romantic stuff. That's not to say that you're not romantic or they're not romantic, but I feel this is getting a slow start and taking it very slow. It could be a reconciliation for some of you, but you would be taking it very, very slow and just really trying to make sure you guys are on the same page and want the same things. Um, Libra, I just feel like you're just very, 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 very resolute that you will not be taken advantage of and that you're not here to finance anybody else's life or dreams or plans. Um, you're a little, uh, like your, your, your mind is made up in that way. So if you're a cross watcher and if you're watching, I would say Libra means business. Um, and, uh, if you want the relationship with Libra to work, uh, you know, it's not going to work if they feel that you're being very dependent on them, especially when it comes to matters of finance. But if they see that you're working on those things, that's going to maybe make them feel more secure in the relationship. Um, all right, Libra. So I would recommend watching your moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign. If you don't know what your moon rising and Venus are, you can definitely look it up on uh, online. You can Google, you know, what's my rising sign? What's my Venus sign? The thing is a lot of the websites don't explain it or it can be confusing or it can be very expensive. 
Uh, I had a astrologer reach out to me and they did a, a little summary for me that blew me away. They, they did a forecast for the 2020 calendar year and I was very blown away by it. Um, and so I was like, hey, that's awesome. I'm going to totally tell everybody about your website because they have things on there. They have like free, free articles. They have like things explaining the rising sign and how it affects situations. They have astrology guides, all kinds of things. And they were like, you know what? I appreciate it, but I'll give your viewers if any of them want to have like a private little astrology analysis for their natal chart or relationship analysis if they want to come and see like the astrological compatibility of a relationship I'll give them 30% off unlimited as many reports as they want so if you want to get relationship compatibility forecast for the year natal chart analysis whatever you want to do they're going to give you 30% off the already very, very affordable prices. But if you can't afford to get a reading right now, I would stay still check out the website anyway, because there's free stuff on there too. It's not all, you know, it's not all stuff that you have to buy. There's free resources on there as well. So check that out. Uh, websites in the description. Angel 30 is the discount code Unlimited use for that code. Um, oh, and if you like free stuff, <laughs> I am giving away my older copy of this deck. This is the deck that I used today. Um, I have the original box that came in. I have all the cards. Nothing's missing. I have the, the booklet that comes with it. It's just if you look at the deck, the edges are kind of beat up. And since I, you know, have these on camera and I take pictures of them for Instagram and Facebook, sometimes they look kind of beat up. So I got a new, I, I got a newer, a newer deck. So for the month of April, anybody that comments on my Instagram and Facebook posts, I'm going to choose somebody from the comments at the end of the month. Um, and I will DM the winner and I'll get their address and I'll send the deck out. At first I was going to say, oh, go and comment on the card that I used from this deck, which was on April 3rd. But you know, it might be, who knows when you're going to see this video. You might see it later in the month. It might be a hassle to try to go and find that particular post. So I just said, let's make it easy. Anyone who comments, you know, on my page, uh, Facebook or Instagram in April, at the end of the month, I will pick somebody. I'll go through the comments. I'll see who's jumping out at me and I will pick a winner, okay? And I'll send a deck. And I'm going to do this with other decks too. It just kind of came to me. I have, this happens a lot. I have to, re I have to replace my decks very often because I use them a lot for videos and for the, the pictures. So anytime I'm going to retire a deck, I'm like, why not just give it away to somebody? So um, Amethyst Angel at Facebook and Instagram if you're not already on there. Channeled Angel messages will be up in a few days. Weekly forecasts will be up in a few days on YouTube. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that and hit notifications so you get a notice when those videos are up. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.